If printed TPU made you think of clocks, backlink, and wasted hours, watch this. With the new Philoflex 220 standard, we go from pissing a wet noodle to a smooth printing and real speeds in flexibles. And you don't have to rebuild your printer. Is printing flexible still the slowest thing? The one that fails the most and the one you control the least? If every time you load a flexible, you say, let's see if it doesn't fail today, this video is for you. This right here is no harder TPU. It's Filoflex 220mm, the same flexible as always, but push it to go faster with better quality and without clocks, compatible with the main printers of the market, thanks to a solution we have been working on for over 18 months. And it works with all registers, from the soft ones, Filoflex 60A, to the more rigid, like 95 or even higher. The real problem, the limit is not just the nozzle or the slicer. With flexible, the filament acts like a compressed column. With 1.75, the stiffness is really low, and when the pressure goes up, it bends, it buckles like that before increasing the flow. So it forces you to print very slowly and even makes the softer materials hard to use. The solution, Filoflex 2.2 mm is a passive solution. 2.2 mm filament plus a hot end with a modified internal channel. Why does it work? We increase the filament diameter. More cross section equal more column stiffness. So we can handle pressure without bending and without buckling. What if you want to print with 1.75 rigid materials like PLA or PTG? That's easy. You load it in the same hotel after purging and keep going. No extruder swap, no printing rebuild. Performance, numbers that matter. Test it with TPU Filoflex 60A, 95, and all the rates in the middle. For example, with 60A Shore, we go from 2.3, that regular maximum flow that we have with 1.75 millimeters, to 8.5 millimeters cubic per second in 68, is 3.7 times faster. And in the other range of the, of the shore, in the 95, we go from 7.5 to 18 millimeters cubic per second, is 2.4 times faster in 95 Filoflex. In general, it's between two and four times faster printing flexible materials and always keeping the extrusion consistently. Look at this chart. After all the tests we run, we realize that flow performance starts to drop once the crock section goes beyond 220 millimeters. This happens because the whole thing no longer has the same ability to mount the material. And at those speeds, the standard extruder motors in 3D printers start to miss steps. Why? Because the filament can be mounted fast enough. So the back pressure goes up, and when the resistance increases, the motor starts to skip in steps. Conclusion, flexible parts in a half or even in a third part of the time with both your productivity and the results without big changes or complexity. Compatibility, the Filoflex 2.2 mm accepts 220 mm, flexible material, and also the most important thing is that you can use your regular 1.75 rigid materials or even flex materials in 1.75 on the same path, on the same hotel without any change. You change the spool, you purge and print. That's all. One of the key points of this innovation is the clearance is calculated minimal for 2.2 millimeter flex and stable with 1.2 rigid materials. So you don't need any special extruders. Quality, detail and reliability. Quality stays. Walls and details stay consistent on the higher speed compared to a slow 1.75. In the test, we didn't see any degradation. We are not seeing losing detail. Actually, by avoiding under extrusion, the material is laid down like a butter more continuously with more consistent flow and it's awesome. Also, hundreds of hours without clocks, switching between 220 flex and 1.75 rating materials in the same cotton. And you must say, why 220 and no 285 millimeters filament? 285 millimeters has more section 
and you can create more current first, but it hurts thermal performance in desktop hotels. So you need better heaters and stronger strudel motors. 1.75 melt fast. Okay, that gives in and clogs and the pressure. In other hand, 2.2 millimeters hits the sweet spot. More section, around 58%, comparing with 1.75. And it's 2.3 more buckling resistance without going over the thermal capacity of the hotel. The perfect balance between stiff column and efficient melting. Validate printers and how to start. We have validated on the main printers on the market. In Bamboo Lab, P1P, P1S, X1C, and the H2 series, DS and P2S. We will come in really, really soon. And in other hand, we have validated too in Prusa printers, MK4S, Core 1, Excel. To start, go to your slicer and modify the diameter of your filament and rewrite and put 220 millimeters filament diameter. And now we go to my favorite part. Go to the volumetric flow section and increase up to 18 or even more depending your material. Add more temp if it needed to ensure the full melting of the material. With 1.75 rigid, print just the same after purging. The same parameter, the same settings, you don't need to change nothing. You can find all the profiles, all the information in our website, recuse.com. FAQ Express Questions. Since you are probably thinking some of these, I will answer the main ones we got from our internal beta testers. Question one, do you have to change all the hardware? No, you just swap the hotel for one of ours, which is the same as the original, but with our internal tension. The 1.75 extruder drive works by adjusting the tension. Question two, can I keep using my 1.75 spools? Absolutely, yes. 1.75 rigid and flexibles in the same holder after purge one each other. The speed boost is with 220 flex. Question three, do I lose detail because it's thicker filament? No, same nozzle, 0.4. More stable flow, detail stays intact at higher speed. Question four, why no 285 like Bowden tabs? On desktop printers, 285 goes over thermal capacity. 220 is the sweet spot for melting and stiffness. Question five, what material does it cover? Okay, it covers all our range of Recruit Filaflex material from 68 to 95. Even we have been testing more soft material because with this new diameter, we can go softer. Filaflex 2.2 system is no a promise. It's a real speed in your flexible with your current system. Download the profiles, check the compatibility list, and enjoy the new standard. Questions? Drop them in the comments, and we will be happy to answer.